All right. Okay. Today we are back with another BTS reaction video. Jordan, we're going to continue on with our journey of Run BTS. Yes, sir. We've watched the first episode and the second episode so far. Mm -hmm. We've seen the members like we haven't seen them before. We haven't seen any artist or group like that no. before, as one of our patrons also noted. Yes. Sophie K wrote in after our reaction to the first two episodes, and she said, you mentioned how you've never seen BTS like this before, mm -hmm. right? It makes me wonder, have you ever seen any celebrities act like this? I love how they are not concerned to look bad. Yes. That's the feel you got. Yes. They are just the funniest, sweetest, and handsome group of guys ever. They are so down to earth, just normal brothers having fun. Spot on. That's what it was, Jude. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly aren't concerned with looking bad <laughs> um, as they're spreading their mouths <laughs> across a yeah. glass yeah. plate or whatever it was. Right. Right? We've been told that episode three mm. is one of those episodes that's in the category of iconic. Um, I don't know whether or not that is a subjective yeah. categorization, but we're going to have to believe our patrons. I think uh, they know what they're talking about more than we do. Yeah. So we will be checking out episode three today uh, and focusing on episode three. Episode three, it's called the theme park. Yeah. So maybe they take a trip to the theme park. Maybe. I don't All know. Right. We'll see. Okay, so let's read two more comments from our wonderful patrons. Uh, the next comment comes from Lori Brennan. Lori writes, hey guys, so happy to see you starting Run BTS. I would definitely recommend watching the episodes in order. Yes, they run chronologically mm. because several concepts happen over the course of two or three consecutive episodes. I would describe Run as seven millionaires willing to fight and throw each other under the bus for a bag of <laughs> chips or coupon for a free drink. It cracks me up how competitive they are. Thanks for reacting. I think Lori was spot on. Lori stated it perfectly. That's called not being concerned to look bad. And that's what makes them special. Yeah. No matter how much money they get, no matter how much fame they get, no matter how popular they become. Yeah. They remain authentically themselves. And I know these are the first few episodes that we're watching now, but they've released two newer ones mm. this year already. And we will be getting to those hopefully. Yeah. But Lori and Sophie are spot on with both of their comments. Jared, we have one more comment from one of our patrons, Alicia Alley. Alicia says, I'm so excited to see you both get into Run BTS. Let the cheating, lying, and crack bangtan begin. <laughs> now, so, Jared, yeah. Yeah. This is a term I've heard a lot. Yes. I've seen a lot of comments, both on our YouTube channel yeah. and here on Patreon, of people describing the members of BTS. <laughs> As quote unquote crackheads. Crackheads. <laughs> and I understand what they mean. We understand what they yes, mean, right? Yes. It is a very loaded term, mm. especially in the context of not just America, yeah, but different things that we're familiar with, different things we may have studied, and even, you know, know people who have struggled with different addictions. Yeah. But it is a somewhat fitting term. Yeah. They're just all over the place, right? Army has uh, redefined what it means to be a crackhead. They put a positive spin on it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to jump into this video. And Army, just to give you a heads up, our next video that we'll be dropping will be a very special one. You can call it a banger. Highly requested. Highly requested. That'll drop on Saturday. Uh, we cannot wait for 
Army to watch that and, and share feedback. But for today, Army, sit back, enjoy as we delve into episode three of Run BTS. Let's go. あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ、大丈夫。あ
Maybe it wasn't meant to happen. We've made it happen. I mean, birds skydive all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they have wings. Uh, RM makes a good point. Yeah. I mean, RM looks a little, a little scared here too. He just didn't want to show it. He said he's scared, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he looks terrified. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah man <laughs> Yeah man <laughs> V is just like this is another day <laughs> yeah. I feel you oh. Okay, so this says food show fairy Kim Tae Hyun. Kim Tae Hyun. Okay. So they're just saying that V is the food show fairy. Well, he looks like an angel when he eats. Hmm. Is there anything that, that V does where he doesn't look good doing? Yeah, that's that's the question. That's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he said a heart pretzel like right? a heart yeah okay i was wondering about that sugar and v look cool and calm i don't know if sugar looks too calm i know he might be a little nervous but it's interesting who is scared yeah of these rides and who's ready for it who's just because amusement parks to us we grew up going to them and they've always been fun, but it is scary. It's so much stimulation around you. Yeah. It can be a lot. I've always been a fan of water parks. Yes, water parks are great. Yep. I think that would be fun. I don't know if BTS has ever gone to a water park together and filmed it. I'm sure ARMY can point out that exact episode if they have. In 2.3 seconds. Yes. <laughs> they'll point it out for us. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> JK is fully ready. JK is calm, cool, and collected. No fear. He says, let's go. Are you getting motion sickness from seeing that thing go by? Oh my gosh. I'm I'm not getting mo actual motion sickness right yeah. now, but when that thing first whizzed by, Jordan, 
you would have to pay me something crazy yeah. to sit right where JK is sitting right now. You know, I used to trust those little bar things. Jim. Yeah. Those things scare me now. You hear about the news stories. Yes. Right. And obviously it's like you'll hear about the bad stories because they happen rarely. But just think about sitting in that going upside down and thinking about it logically. Like if anybody were to think about it logically, it'd be RM. <laughs> you know, is this safe? He'd scan it within seconds. I mean, it must be safe because he's he's still sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, backwards. You see what I mean? Someone may suffer a heart attack. He's talking about himself or anyone. I don't know. He's just speaking truth. Yeah. You said that V had an old soul yeah. in our last video. I would argue that RM has an old soul as well. Mm. In what way? He's very wise. V yes. may has an, have an old soul. You, like, you see him dancing to jazz. RM's wisdom is on a different level, man. Yeah. <laughs> we get sugar. <laughs> yeah. He loves it. <laughs> Looking at the pictures. Ah. See, Jared, look, look, that's what RM was talking about. People like to defy gravity once they get a taste. Mm. Jimmy wasn't like that before. No, no, no. No, he's, he's looking like he's loving this now. He's a little kid. He turns into a little kid. <laughs> yes. Another point. Just watching the members walk through this amusement park, Jordan, mm -hmm. not one person from what I'm seeing has identified them. Yeah. And, you know, obviously this was back in their early days. Yeah. But could you imagine them going to this same amusement park today? Mm -mm. They would have to shut every single ride down. Every single ride down. This is amazing footage. Yeah. You know? I want to know where they are. Mm. Can we look that up quick? Yeah. Six Flags in Chicago. Really? So they went to the Six Flags Great America in Chicago. I th it looked like it was somewhere in America when they yeah. were driving on the highway. Yeah. And seeing the, the people around them. Yeah. And... V is wearing that same hat as in the episode. Ah, okay. Wow. That's interesting. So they must have had a show in Chicago the following day? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Wow, 
Yeah, nobody knows them yet. Huh? Nobody knows them yet. No, that's fascinating. I wonder if, you know, this amusement park, if it were in Korea at yeah. this time, it would be a different situation. It's interesting, though, to think back. We're not too familiar with how their popularity grew in America. Yeah. Right? I want to know when they really started to pop off in America. Mm. Or right. other other countries. Right? Not even one person yeah. has walked up to them in this footage. And you're right. If it were today, they'd be swarmed. It would be a danger to society. It may even be a danger <laughs> to society to let one member on one of these rides. You'd have kids climbing up the rides <laughs> trying to... No, I mean, like, think about it. And obviously, you know, the members have to still live today. Yeah. Yep. But... When you have a civilization <laughs> that is depending on you, your safety is of utmost importance. That's true. Mm. <laughs> oh, how, how the tides have turned. Right. Now, Jimin is the consoler here. That's how it works, Jim. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh, you're about to throw up? I didn't notice J Hope was this nervous on the yeah. ride over. He does look no, like this is like the ride up. back, no? No, it's the ride over. They they rewound it. Oh, yeah, I believe. Oh, interesting. He looks like he's the most nervous out of everybody. Ah, <laughs> so they have cameras on each member. Oh, they must. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if they rewound that or I fast forward it. Rewind. Wow. <laughs> I could feel that I in my it. stomach. It looks like he's about to throw up. Right. That's a that's not a good feeling. No. But if you don't try something, I don't know if J Hope's never tried it. You try something like Jimin. Yeah. There's people that, that are like Jimin who try it. You want to go back the next day. Yeah. But then there's other people who you try it, you'll never go back ever again in your life. Yes. But you're right. You have to try it. Yeah. Right? You have to conquer that fear. Mm. Whether it's a good experience or a bad experience, there will be a lesson at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of wisdom, Jerry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he said, I screwed up. Dude, he looks like an old man walking. <laughs> just like he's just sick to his stomach. Yeah. Is he excited or terrified? Oh, he's about to throw up. He's traumatized. He's about to throw up. <laughs> he's about to throw up. He's about to cry. <laughs> Wait, he passed out? Oh. See, never again. Never again. 
holding the rail. <laughs> Wait, it's another one though, Jerry. Oh my god. <laughs> Protect his human right. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not good, Jared. Jared, that's not good. Oh. oh no. Stop the ride. What's going on here? He's a soldier, Jared. He's he, taking it for the team. He's literally conquering his fear. Right. And he sees everybody else going on. He's yeah. not going to be the only one that's not. Wow. But I feel his pain, man. That's respect to J-Hope. Yeah. Jordan. Sitting here, my stomach is starting to turn. Just looking at his facial expressions. Because I feel it. I feel it and I know that feeling. Mm -hmm. It's one of the worst feelings ever. Think about the feeling when you're, you're mid ride, right? You're only mm -hmm. midway through the roller coaster ride and all you wanna do is get off of that ride. You lose all control of your facial functions, <laughs> which is what we saw. And if you stay on long enough, You'll lose all control of your bodily functions. Oh, <laughs> no, that's real, Jared. It, it reminds me of when we were on a ferry boat. Oh, when we went to South Africa, Jared, back oh. in college. Right? Yeah. And we traveled to a place called Robin Island. Yeah. And I'm sure some of our fellow army members may have even been. Yes, I know we have, uh, I can think of one army patron yeah. from south africa yes i don't know if she's familiar with robin island but um, i know that yara is from south africa yeah and many others that have traveled yeah and this is the place where nelson mandela was imprisoned mm. right the way back from the island it's like a maybe i don't even know how many how long of a ferry boat ride it is yeah I've heard of seasickness before. I never felt it. That day changed my entire life. I, I became a new person. Yeah. So seeing J-Hope's face, it brought me right back to when we were on the ferry boat. Yeah. And you didn't, did you get seasick? Jordan, I was more seasick than you. And you were just able to control it. No, no, no. I was sitting there in a meditative state. Oh my goodness because there's nothing else to do at that point. Oh, there is something else to do. What? When you reach your breaking point. Yeah. What do you do? You stand up. You hop in the ocean, Jordan. What do you no, do? no, no. You stand up, Jared. Yeah. You grab every rallying you can find. <laughs> you don't look at anybody. You're sweating profusely. You walk down, you find the nearest bathroom. Yeah. You either throw up or you use the bathroom. You get something out of you. Yeah. It's one of the worst feelings you can ever feel. Yeah. When you said that that day and that experience changed your life forever. Yeah. That is exactly what an experience like that does, Jordan. It makes you eternally grateful oh. to be alive and to be healthy, you know, because oh, some people put it. Yeah. Some people have that feeling every day. I know Jordan. And there's fellow army members who are out there with conditions. Yeah. And, painful conditions that they live with every day. We've read about them physically and mentally, Jordan. Yes. Some mental health conditions are sort of analogous to seasickness. Mm. Right? Right. 
you yeah. would never know somebody's seasick unless yeah. you see it on their face and yes. they tell you. But I saw you over there and you were just like, I was eyes closed like this. Yeah. And I was like, wait, because I was out of my body. My body I, was in that boat. My mind was <laughs> back at the docking station. <laughs> I was trying to get your attention with my eyes because I didn't want to make a scene. Yeah. I need to get off this boat. That's what I need. To, that's what needs to happen. You need to help me, Jared. I had to take it into my own hands. <laughs> I feel for J-Hope, man, but he's yeah. he's a soldier. He's continuing on. Yes. Oh. <laughs> ah. I went on that before. You remember? <laughs> mm. Wow, that was a good episode. Yeah. At the end here, you got JK, V, and Jin. Mm hmm. Not phased at all by these rides, right? Yeah. And you got J-Hope, who had a tough day, but he got through it. Got through it. And and that's, I feel proud of him right now. Yeah. No, it, it does take a lot. It may seem like it doesn't. Yeah. But it does. It is really conquering your fear. It is. Because I think about myself, Jordan. Yeah. And what I've done in the past, mm. going to Six Flags, right? Yep. I'll go on one ride just to confirm to myself what I already know, but making sure that, you know, okay, today could be different. Go on one ride. After that ride, Jordan, I've confirmed it. I'm dizzy. I'm nauseous. I'm going to be watching everyone else go on rides for the rest mm. of the day. And it's okay. Mm. But J-Hope didn't do that. Respect. Respect. Man. I know this will be a tangent, yeah. but you ever watch those videos of people free climbing? Oh, yes. Jared, I started watching the documentary. Ooh. Alex Hanold or whatever. What's his name? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Free Solo. Free Solo. I think it's called Free Solo. I started watching. I didn't finish it. Mm. Jared. Oh, oh Jared. But this is what this reminded me of, right? When you When you get those butterflies, when they drop or when they go on that roller coaster free climbing oh my goodness is just a completely different experience but it, it makes me sweat watching yep it's a calculation yeah and that's what he said in the documentary it's he memorizes Oof. he goes through the plans for years and memorizes every single crevice every move every but it all comes from the same place yeah you know that fear in that adrenaline it's all the same yeah and it relates to what rm said at the beginning yes right yep humans want to defy gravity and what did jk say at the end what did he, he say? said now i want to go bungee jumping did he say that yeah i missed that i believe jk said now i want to go bungee jumping wow so it's it was just interesting watching like you said each of their reactions to arriving at the theme park yeah getting on the rides and then afterwards. Yeah. Everybody reacts differently. You just never know until you actually do it. You have to experience it. Yeah. No matter what it is, Jordan, it can be riding a roller coaster. Mm. It can be trying a banana for the first time. <laughs> exactly, right? man. If yep. you're terrified of bananas, 
the only way you're going to confirm mm. that terror or perhaps realize that you actually like bananas yeah. is by trying it. That's the point of this episode, I think. We learned something. But it was a very fun episode. I see why people like this one. Yeah. And Sophie and Lori were spot on. I didn't see much competition in this one. Yeah. Because everybody was on a level playing field. But Sophie, when she said that she loves how they are not concerned with looking bad, Jared, come on. They all showed their true selves by showing us their face on camera on a roller coaster. Yes. That's the truest essence you can get. And by eating ice cream and pretzels. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Right? These guys are superstars who mm -hmm. use their bodies and need to be fit. Mm -hmm. Yet, they are willing to just go to an amusement park mm. for a day, let loose, eat some snacks, mm. and have fun. With a concert the next day. With a concert the next day. Sure. It's amazing. It is. Yeah, Run BTS is gonna be good. Yes. It's gonna be good. All right, everybody, thank you so much for spending your time with us. We hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did. We know you all have seen this most likely many times. Yeah. Maybe some of you haven't, but we hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, everybody. We have a very special reaction video releasing this Saturday. We'll see you very soon. Peace. Peace.